So continuing from uh, last week, um, I'm making a steam engine. I'm taking this, I believe it's a two horsepower engine, but um, all the stickers and stuff are worn off of it. I'm taking this engine, converting it to run on either compressed air or steam. Um, and to do that, basically, all you have to do, and this is this is particular to uh, four-stroke engines. Two-stroke engines are a little different. You take and you put some sort of adapter into the spark plug hole. You can see, hopefully these bolts don't fall out. You can see the adapter there. Uh, I think that's just a quarter inch, quarter twenty thread maybe. Um, uh, any any standard uh, uh, compressor nipple will care will, will have that same size on it. Um, and that's that's our inlet for the air to go in. Um, for the outlet, I believe in the last video I said we we're using the intake port, but actually we're using the exhaust port. And how we're going to accomplish that is by taking and. I'll, I'll show you on this one, but it's actually this one we're using, but I'll show you on this one because it's easier. We're going to take the, the lobe that comes down here and mirror it on the top. And uh, that'll turn our four-stroke gasoline engine into a two-stroke steam engine. Um, I've disassembled the whole part. You just saw the head. I have a cover that goes on this part. Um, we have the gear here that controls the camshaft, obviously, which controls the valves. And um, what I'm going to do today is hopefully finish it, finish it up to the point where I can get it running. Um, but first, I'm going to be taking off it, you can't really see it, but here. There we go. Uh, I'm going to take off all of this stuff on this side because I need access to this uh, little spot you can't really see, but there's a cover here that I need to get access to inside there. So, I don't cover safety very often in my videos, but uh, when you're doing this kind of stuff, uh, glasses aren't really necessary for this process at the moment. You're just disassembling stuff. Um, but I would suggest the gloves. Uh, just because there are sharps. And um, just keep your hands clean. So, I'll be back when I've disassembled all this stuff. Alright, so I got this. I got all this stuff off. This is where the tank was sitting. And uh, this is the cover that I had to remove. Um, I had to remove it because that's where the um, the valve springs are. And uh, just so you can see here, I've held it up with some scrap metal I have. Not the best way to do it. Um, there's a potential I could bend those, but I mean, it's, it's never going to run as an engine again. So I'm not exactly worried about it. But uh, the main reason I had to remove those is because I got to put the, uh, the lifters back in show you them. Here's the lifters. There's the lifters. They sit up in here and then when the cam comes around it pushes this up which then pushes the valve up. Um, but uh, I can't hold these up, put the, the camshaft with the, the sprocket on it in there and then line up the, uh, the, there's a notch on this and a notch on this. See if I can get it real close and show you. Okay, you can obviously see the circle that's right there. But what you're looking for is this little guy right there. That has to line up with a little notch on one of these teeth. Um, I mean, you probably can't see it, but it's right there. Um, so what I would have to do is hold these guys up, put this in, spin it to where it needs to be before it meshes, 
make sure this is in the right position, and then put push it all together. And I just can't do that. I don't have six hands, and there's no room in there. So, what we're going to do, make sure there's some light in there. I'm just going to push these up. Use a couple pairs of tiny vice grips. Hold them in there. It doesn't need to be clamped hard because you don't want to mar that surface. But uh, that'll allow me to get these up even higher than they would be if the cam was engaged. And uh, it'll allow me to assemble the whole thing. I've removed pretty much everything that I don't need. Um, quick note here. I could cap this. This is the... Uh, the port for our uh, uh, carburetor, carburetor set right there. But uh, I don't need to cap it. Uh, I'm taking the lifter out of this valve. So this valve is now dead. It's not going to do anything and it's effectively capped. But. Uh, yeah, I just have to put that gear back on and put the lifter back in and then I think we are good. Assuming I haven't lost any pieces. Alright, something I forgot to mention. Um, you gotta take the cam. That's the original lobe. I've created a secondary lobe. I haven't grinded it or made it look nice yet. I've just sort of globbed on some weld and uh, grinding it is right now, and I'll show you that when I get back. All right, it's all back together. Went back together with absolutely no problems. I got that extra cam welded on. Um, I didn't actually get a picture of it, uh, it but it, it looks exactly the same as the other one. You don't need to see it. Um, and I figured, while I'm here, might as well get some video of it actually running. So, I've uh, attached my drill. So, let's just get this supported. Make sure it's still pretty much in frame. Okay. And, I'm going to. First of all, I'm going to run it slowly so you just can see what's happening. It's really hard because there's a lot of friction in there. So you can see as this piston goes down, the valve's closed. The valve opens, the piston starts to come back up. Closed, open, and that's your two strokes. So. Keep in mind, there's nothing supporting this from falling out the front, so I, I'm, I'm trying to be very careful here. That's it. Now, Got to put it all back together, which very easy to do. Although I kind of did lose one of the nuts out of that. I got to find it. I think it's just back in there. Um, put the head on, put the cover on, fill it with some oil. Uh, it is running a little hard right now, um, and that's just because uh, there might have been some little uh, uh, weld crap on this gear. Um, but actually, it's running much better than when I first started it. When I first started it, it, it got to a point, and it stuck. And I couldn't spin it anymore. But it's running much better now. So, it'll work itself in. Uh, just need a little bit of oil. And, uh... You know what, I think that's a video for this week. I will finish it up. And 
and we'll turn it this way. I'll finish it up. It's not really much to do, but uh, do it uh, for you guys next week. Have a good day.